You know, we are the caretakers of the places that these birds need most. We are there protecting the habitats that they depend on. We are there making sure that the birds have the best possible chance to be successful, the best possible chance to nest and raise their young and be able to sustain their populations. And the places that we manage in the state are essential to sustaining populations of waterbirds, not only in North Carolina, but populations of waterbirds throughout the entire country. I would say I'm, I'm on the boat just about every day of the week, and this is going to be my fifth field season with Audubon, North Carolina. I started in January of 2011. I'm working on getting towards five years of going out to these islands. Some of the most important things that I bring with me uh, every day when I go do uh, work on the river is, uh, well, first of all, a pair of sunglasses and a hat for my own sun protection. I also always have a trusty GPS unit with me so I can mark nests that I find and relocate ones that I've already found. I always got a pair of post hole diggers with me in case I need to do any maintenance on our signs. I've got my pair of binoculars, which are going to be a necessary thing for any kind of bird work. And I always have my little trusty field notebook and a pencil or two in case I drop the first one. We've got about 20 different islands that make up the Audubon North Carolina Sanctuary System. The idea of the sanctuaries is to provide a significant amount of habitat for a significant amount of birds so that we can have healthy populations of these species in North Carolina and in the region. They include species like the brown pelican, the great egret, the white ibis, species that really represent the coast to a lot of people and that a lot of people enjoy. So. We hope that the islands will be able to provide good habitat, suitable nesting habitat, safe habitat, habitat free from human disturbance into the future. So that's the big idea. Well, I always tell people to be prepared and they could see anything. We've got over 20 species of birds that nest on our islands. And depending on the time of year, they might see courtship. They might see great egrets displaying their beautiful plumes. They might see oyster catchers tending to their nests or they might see ibis feeding their small chicks. They could see fledglings. It all depends on the time of year, but there's always something different to see on the river. It's never the same trip twice. There's lots of different research that happens on the sanctuaries. The goal of the sanctuary program were to acquire the places that water birds need the most in the state, to conduct research that adds to our knowledge of water bird biology and ecology, and then to also conduct research that helps us improve the way that we manage the habitats and the entire island sometimes that these birds depend on and understand how places in North Carolina are connected to other places up and down the whole Atlantic Flyway. Towards the end of the field season, you could say, here's all the data I collected. You know, here's, here's the information I have on their nest success. Here's the birds that I've banded, the chicks that hopefully I and others will see for years to come as we document their movements up and down the flyway and, and gather all these little pieces of information over the course of going out in the field on one day or over the course of the season or over the course of many years. But if you collect enough information, you can put all the pieces together and tell a story that helps to make these birds' lives better, that will help conserve them for the future. And I keep going out on the boat because I like the birds, I like the boat, and I like to see what what's going on on that particular day. And uh, you never know what that is. You just know you will find something interesting. You will see something cool. You don't know what it is. You gotta go to the river to find out.